Are you trying to create a slideshow using pictures and music on your iPhone but not getting the results you'd hoped for? Let me show you two options, one with just your iPhone and the other with iMovie. This is how to make a video with pictures and music, also known as a slideshow with your iPhone. First you'll need to get some images on your phone that you want to make into a short video. You're about to learn everything you need to know about making a video using your iPhone. My name is Dean Parman, this is Travel Vidstar TV, and welcome to our iPhone video editing tutorial series. Now, let's make a slideshow video. There is a super nifty way to view your photos as a slideshow with music on an iPhone just using the Photos app. Simply open your Photos app, select the images you want to include in your slideshow, tap at the bottom here to see the menu and scroll down to the slideshow option. Automatically your iPhone will create a slideshow with music. You can see multiple images randomly grouped together with unique transitions between the slides. Under the options you can change the theme, the music, whether it should repeat or not and the overall speed. Let's select a different theme and speed it up a little. This is a really fast way to create a good looking slideshow. You can airplay this video to your television and show your friends and family if you want. But sadly, that's where it ends. This slideshow function does not allow you to export this as a video that you can share. But don't worry, there is an easy workaround. All you need to do is a screen recording. When you slide up on your iPhone screen, it opens your control center. Here, you should have a record screen button that looks like this. If you do not see it, then you need to customize your control center. Go to settings, search for control center, select customize controls and look for the screen recording option. You need to tap on the little green plus button to add it. At the top, you can then drag this to a new position if you like. Now, when you slide to open your control center, you will see the button. Just tap on this and then you have three seconds to set up your screen before it starts recording. Record your slideshow, tap at the top of the screen to stop and then it will automatically save your video to the recent folder in the Photos app. If you're interested in taking more control of your video edits, then I also want to show you how to make a video with images and music in a third party editing app as well. Let's close this down and go over to my editing apps. I have two apps installed on my iPhone that I like to use for different types of videos. Splice is my paid for or professional editor and iMovie is the quick job movie maker. For creating slideshows with music, I'm going to use iMovie for three reasons. It's better suited to this task, it's free, and it comes with your iPhone. You don't need to install anything else. Tap to open iMovie. I already have a couple of projects on the go, but you will want to hit this plus to start a new project. Next, you have two options, movie or trailer. Movie allows you to create a video from scratch, whereas the trailer is a pre-templated video. For our slideshow, we're going to select movie because we want to have full control. You can select your clips one by one or alternatively at the top, select the whole folder in one go. Hit create. On your timeline, you will see the total duration of the video is now at one minute and 28 seconds. This is very long for a slideshow with only 15 images. You'll see that if I push play, this first image takes way too long to get through and all the others are going to be exactly the same. Before I start trimming though, I want to add in the music. The music will have an impact on the length of the clips. Select the plus over here to open the media library. From here, you can import media. Choose the audio section. Your options are soundtracks, my music, and sound effects. The soundtracks option is a built-in music library in iMovie. If like me, you prefer to bring in your own music, you can go to My Music and either bring in songs from your iTunes or, like in my case, from YouTube. 
Under Imported, you'll see some tracks that I sourced from a free music channel on YouTube. You can use a channel like this, for example, which has new tracks all the time, completely copyright free. Let's add in this track and have a listen. Good. Now we can shorten the clips to match the feel to the music. To change the image duration, we will need to trim the clips. Tap on the image to select it. Once it's selected, it will get a yellow border. At the top, you can see the current duration is 6.6 .6 seconds. It's very long. And these are the Ken Burns controls. And we'll come back to this in a minute. First, let's just grab the yellow handle and drag this clip to a shorter length. I'm going to bring this clip all the way down to below one second. Let's see. And already that's much better. Now flip through all of them to quickly bring down the duration to a suitable length. I'm aiming for about 0.8 to 1.1 seconds per image. At this stage of the edit, I don't need to be super accurate. I just want to bring them down to be shorter. The entire video is now 29.6 seconds and that's a lot better. Let's go back to the beginning and have a look at the Ken Burns effect now. Ken Burns is what you use to animate the image to get movement. You have the option to change the front of the clip to a beginning state and the end of the clip to an end state. As the video plays, it will transition between these two states. If I turn this off on the first two clips, for example, and play it, you will see the images are just static and this is very boring. So on the first clip, I'm going to choose the start position to stay zoomed all the way out and the end position to be zoomed in. As this plays, it will change between the two. On the second clip, I'm going to zoom in and place her on the side at the start and on the other side at the end. And when I play, she will move from the one side to the other. Let's do one more. I'm going to start zoomed all the way in and then end zoomed out. And you can work your way through the rest of the video like this. By default, iMovie will add the Ken Burns effect to all your images automatically, but sometimes you want to enhance the movement to make it a little bit more jumpy. Again, this will depend on the type of music you use. The next thing you want to consider is looking at the transitions. By default, iMovie places a crossfade between all the clips. I find this to be a little bit annoying, but hey, we get what we get when we use a free app. You can choose between a couple of different transitions here. The theme button, or the star one, actually comes with a little sound effect. Let's then add a slide on the second one and have a look. You can change the direction of the slide transition if you like. When it's activated, you can see that there are four states you can choose from. Just tap on it again to choose another direction. Let's just go through the video and add a couple more at random and then give it a watch. Basically, I will keep going through this video until I've shortened everything to keep in rhythm with the music and to keep the video constantly moving and interesting. When I fly through the edit now, you get a feeling that this is starting to look right. Let's quickly view my final version of the slideshow. And when you're done, just hit done. Make sure to name your project and now you can hit the share button and share this video with whoever you want. We hope this video was helpful. At TravelVids we have loads more video tutorials just like this, including a fully comprehensive video for beginners course that will change your iPhone from a simple calling device to a video creation tool. Click on the link below this video to read more about our course. Thanks for watching.